are intermolecular forces. Those are forces that is attraction forces between molecules. We have four different intermolecular forces. Ionic compounds, they have ionic-ionic attraction, basically the electrostatic attraction between positively side or positive ions and negative the uh, charge um, anions, so cations and anions, they strongly hold each other, and as a result, it's going to affect the physical property for those substances. Any compound that you they uh, is ionic, they have very high melting point, very high boiling point. Just NaCl has 800 degrees Celsius uh, melting point because it's an ionic compound. In order to melt. A solid compound, you have to overcome the forces that holds the molecules or the ions together. So the stronger the intermolecular forces, your compound is going to have higher boiling point, is going to have higher melting point, is going to have uh, lower rate of evaporation. The weaker the intermolecular force is, is going to be uh, opposite, so lower melting point, lower boiling point, and faster rate of evaporation. So if the boiling point is low or the bonds that are holding the attractive forces that holding the molecules together, it's weak, then it can evaporate faster. So rate of evaporation is going to be uh, higher. For this experiment, there are some information behind me on the board, which you might need it. I hope that it shows properly here uh, because it's a video, so it doesn't record it opposite. So for ethanol, you have the molecular formula. You can gather this information. You can search it up yourself. The molecular formula, you have the structure formula for um, ethanol. You have a structure formula for propanol, uh, for methanol, and then you, for butanol, and you have for hexane and uh, pentane. So you also have the molecular weight for this compound. The other three types of intermolecular forces are hydrogen bonding, dipole-dipole, and van der Waals forces, or London dispersion. So London dispersion forces are the weakest one, and that's for compounds that they are nonpolar. Compounds that they are made of only carbon and hydrogen. Hydrocarbons is a nonpolar, so you have um, hexane or you have pentane, which is nonpolar. So you have London dispersion for these two compounds. Methanol, ethanol, propanol, and butanol, they have OH. Any compound that contains OH, NH, or FH is going to behave hydrogen bonding intermolecular force and hydrogen bonding is the strongest among the intermolecular forces that they are uh, being used in for molecular compound so we have the, the strongest one hydrogen bonding and the weakest one on the dispersion dipole dipole uh, any compound that has the moment is a polar molecule so first you have to know the structure or formula to find if your molecule is polar or not then you can predict if it has the dipole-dipole interaction or it doesn't have it. But definitely for hydrogen bonding, and then it, you need the OH, NH, or FH, and therefore uh, London dispersion, your molecule must be nonpolar. There are a couple of factors that affect the, uh, the rate of evaporation. So we are going to pick one physical property and we are going to experiment based on that. Of course, there are many other, like boiling point, melting point, the uh, rate of evaporation, vapor pressure, all that. But we are not experimenting all of them at the same time. For this experiment, 12 is designed to only uh, compare rate of evaporation um, for six compounds. So we have like six test tubes, four of them is alcohol, and two of them are alkane. And we are going to find out why uh, or how the trend is for rate of evaporation. So first factor is the, the nature of intermolecular forces. If cup one, two, three, and five, it has like ethanol, propanol, butanol, and methanol has hydrogen bonding, definitely is going to have higher uh, or stronger intermolecular forces compared to the pentane and hexane, so it's going to 
evaporate at a slower rate. The secondary factor is the molar mass. The higher the molar mass, which affects the London dispersion, so it depends on the, the higher the, the molar mass is, the London dispersion is going to be stronger for that molecule. So we have two factors. One is type of intermolecular force. The other one is the molar mass of the substance. So methanol has hydrogen bonding, but is lighter than ethanol. So it's going to, it has a 32 molar mass. This one is 46 molar mass. So it's going to evaporate at a faster rate. How are we going to measure the rate of evaporation? The evaporation is an endothermic reaction. Uh, is an endothermic process, so it's going to absorb heat from the environment, and since it's absorbing heat from the environment, the temperature of the environment is going to drop. So from the time they start evaporation until the evaporation is finished, the change in temperature is going to be greater. The faster the evaporation, the greater the value for delta T or change in temperature. So we are going to have, that's why we have for methanol, we have higher change in temperature, then we have ethanol, propanol, and for butanol is the, the lowest value. Pentane and hexane is drawn in a separate graph, and you also have to draw it in a separate graph because you're not using these values that is up here. We are going to generate the values based on the experiment that I'm going to perform, and you are going to plot the graph. Just remember, pentane and hexane is not mixed with this, is compared separately. In general, they're going to have higher rates for evaporation because it's going to be weaker intermolecular force. And also, comparing pentane with hexane, hexane is heavier than pentane, so London dispersion is stronger for hexane compared to uh, pentane. So